As a mechanical engineer, when applying for a job, most employers look out for specific sets of skills. Here are the top four skills you need to have as a mechanical engineer in 2025. What is up, guys? Kuku guest us here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'll highlight four important skills you need to have as a mechanical engineer. Stick around to the end as the last skill is the most important skill to have. No matter how well you perform academically, your degree alone won't guarantee you a job. Employers care more about technical and practical skills. Let us dive in. But before we dive into the skills, let us talk about some of the things employers look out for before giving you a position in their firm. You have to carry the ability to work well with people. You also have to carry the ability to bring a concept product or a product from concept to mass production. That is bringing out your ideas, design, 2D models and other stuffs for mass production. You also have to carry the ability to design, test and optimize parts to meet specification. That is, you don't have to deviate. You also have to have the ability to design parts that can be manufactured and assembled within budget. Let us talk about the first skills. As a mechanical engineer, you should have basic computer-aided design skills. That is simply put, CAD. CAD is an essential skill for any mechanical designer. There are tons of softwares for mechanical design, including AutoCAD, Autodex Inventor, and SolidWorks. With CAD skills, you should be able to model in various geometries, that is 2D or 3D geometries, and create part drawing and 3D models. You also have to be able to convert 2D drawings to 3D drawings and 3D drawings to 2D drawings. You also have to be able to work in different file formats. These are the basic CAD skills every employer will look out for in a mechanical engineer before giving him or her a position in his firm. With the last skills in this section, you should also be able to call out precise dimensions. If you want to excel in product design and engineering, mastering CAD is non-negotiable, meaning it is compulsory for you if you want to do something like product design and work in manufacturing firms or companies. The second skills I want us to talk about is manufacturing processes. This is one of the most important skills for a mechanical engineer and most employers look for or most companies actually look for candidates with hands-on experience in this aspect or in manufacturing processes. So these are some of the key areas to focus on when actually diving into manufacturing processes. You first have to focus on 3D printing because actually 3D printing is a modern manufacturing processes. You also have to focus on welding, sheet metal operations, casting, CNC machining. Alright, so if your school has a machine shop, take full advantage of it and learn how to operate the lit machine, the drill press, the milling machine and any machine that you find in your workshop. And also this aspect deals with a lot of welding processes. So you have to actually take learning or you have to actually learn welding machines. That is electric arc machine, in sports welding machines, the take and make welding machine. You have to take full advantage of your school workshop and actually have this hands-on experience on how to operate this machine. If you don't have access to these machines, I think internship is the best way for you to go or have hands-on experience. So whenever there is vacation, make sure that you take your internship and other attachments very serious so that you get hands-on experience on whatever you are doing. Let us talk about the third skills. That is engineering theories or engineering fundamentals. Now, let us talk about engineering theories and why it matters. Okay, so an engineering theories and learning school refers to the educational institution focused on teaching engineering principles and practices through a lens of learning theories, emphasizing the application of structured learning methodologies to effectively teach complex engineering concepts often incorporating hands-on projects and real-world problem solving to enhance student understanding and skills development. Having known the definition of engineering theories or engineering fundamentals, as an engineer, you need a solid fundamental concept that guides engineering designs and problem solving. So the most important aspect of this includes learning heat transfers, thermodynamics, engineering materials, 
fluid mechanics and machine tool designs so these are basically the fundamentals of, of engineering or the foundations of engineering as we sit in the classroom we learn all these fundamentals or basic foundation of engineering the goal here isn't just about to pass our exams but to understand how to apply these theories in real life situations so mastering these concepts will i mean make you a better problem solver and more competitive candidate for your employer to actually select you or employ you in his firm or campaign now let us move on to the last skills which a lot of you have been waiting for and the last skills i want to talk about here is programming yes you heard me right i want to talk about programming so programming can be a plus even though programming is not mandatory for a mechanical engineer to actually learn it but it is to your advantage if you know how to i mean program so some of the most useful programming uh, languages for mechanical engineers it's the matlab that is basically used for simulation and data analysis and mathematical modeling and also python that is basically used in automation data science and even machine learning like the ai so knowing how to basically code help you to automate stacks and analyze complex data and even work in ai um design and optimization so this skill set also sets you apart from your competitors when an employer is actually looking for mechanical engineer with most of the set of skills mentioned so there you have it these are the top four skills every mechanical engineering must have in 2025 so let us do a quick recap on whatever we've talked about we first talk about computer aided design and that's the first skills you need as a mechanical engineer in 2025 and we said computer aided design is an essential skills for designing and actually prototyping the second skills we talk about is manufacturing processes that is having hands-on experience in production and we also talked about engineering fundamentals or engineering theories that is mastering the key concepts in thermodynamics material engineering and also mechanics and machine tool design the last skills we talked about which is the most important of it all and in 2025 you have to learn programming language and this set of skills is a bonus to you as a mechanical engineer since it is not mandatory for a mechanical engineer to actually learn or grab these skills so if you find this video helpful for. make sure you hit on the like button make sure you hit on the subscription button and drop a comment on which skills you are currently working on catch you guys on another one peace out